Hey Doomers, it's April 19th, about to head to the range and mag dump some 9 mil. If any of you wanted to see that, hit like and subscribe and feel free to visit the PayPal donation link below. Your contributions help to keep this content going as I continually assess the downfall of human civilization. There's a couple news articles, perhaps, or just really scientific information I want to cover. Um, I know many of my subscribers are tuned in with Mr. Beckwith, where in which he dissects peer-reviewed papers on the latest scientific information. He goes to the cops. He is dedicated. And there are some other channels who more poetically uh, address the crisis of overshoot that we're currently experiencing. So as if I've said enough already, I find the information as it is continuously updated and released just fascinating. I mean, everybody should pay, be paying attention. We should have declared a climate emergency. Uh, I know Sam Carana is all about that. Is it a girl or is it a guy? Who is it? Um, so that's not going to happen. Stupidity overwhelmingly exists in the population and a note about this culture once more it breeds toxic it festers uh narcissistic traits the i the me um trying to tell someone of lesser intelligence that their future is in jeopardy will often be met with oh people have always said that oh uh i'll worry about it when it comes Oh, if I die, I die. Well, the problem with that is you're not being considerate of all other people and living things around you. So in which case, I might shoot you in the stomach if you come in with my vicinity. If you approach my vicinity when there is no more food and gas. Just warning you. Just warning you. Okay. Vulgar stuff out the way. Let's talk about climate. My whole fire and brimstone approach seemed to have turned off some subscribers over the years, but I don't tolerate sociopaths, or psychopaths for that matter, whether you consider others and yourself or just nobody else. Okay, not going down that rabbit hole, let's get to it. Uh, the most recent interesting publish was that the energy imbalance in Earth's system. So. All of this shortwave radiation is hitting the Earth. It's bouncing off into the form of long-wave radiation. This is common sense, and it's being trapped within uh, greenhouse gases, which are basically absorbing the heat. Really, what's absorbing the energy is the oceans. 89% of the energy is being absorbed into the ocean. And then something like 6% into land, 4% uh, into... Um, the cryosphere, was it those numbers right? You could double check me. I think that's about close enough. Um, and I agree that this is a true indicator of the warming climate. Like we can say global average temperature, but really what's happening is trapped energy watts per meter squared. And funny how it lines up almost directly with a rise in temperature. So I'm just reflecting on all this right now publicly to you guys the amount of warming in watts per meter squared equivalent puts us right exactly like where we're at now, which is over one degree Celsius. And the amount of energy imbalance transfer from the time periods that we've analyzed makes perfect sense how much more population and industrialization that we've done in the past several decades especially definitely in the past 20 years. I mean, without a doubt, we've ramped up nearly every form of production, despite being warned not to. In addition to all this, like we should be using the watts per meter squared energy imbalance, if we were a smart, advanced race, that would be a more apt metric of diagnosing where our planetary hospice is, <laughs> what state our planet is in. We're in planetary hospice. And in addition, you have this data coming out about rising sea levels, um, that it's accelerating. The acceleration is accelerating. So sea level continues to rise at a faster rate, like several millimeters a year. 
I mean, just these two facts alone, and if you look at the El Nino and La Nina, can you say El Nino 10 times over? If you look at the data, how much it, and you follow the trajectory, in my 2030 gives me, like, it still gives me shivers down my spine. It still makes me tingle to think about what kind of world that is. <laughs> and I published another Don't Look Up Except It's Real Life Part 2 from The View. Ginger Z gets on The View. This is, to this is, this is related, but side note, because I was pretty frustrated about this yesterday. I, pub I worked on this whole video. I published it, and then it was not the Don't Look Up footage was copyright blocked because I cut it up right, but The View, this TV show with, o uh, not Oprah, uh, Whippy w w Goldberg or whatever, and all these attractive looking women all sitting around on this, you know, very done up production set, and Ginger Z is like basically telling them, like, we knew it's, you know, it's here, we saw this coming, and one of the girls is like, how concerned should we be? The UN governmental panel came out and said that in this report that we have less than like 10 years and that is that how concerned should we be just clueless morons a new report from the u.n panel on climate change mm -hmm. said that in the next decade uh so 10 years earth is likely to reach the threshold of what they call catastrophic warming how concerned about this should we really be i mean that's just 10 years <laughs> well you came to the right place because on this show we like to say things oh, would you please just stop being so fuck pleasant I'd love to just preach to all these women. What good would it do? For fun. For fun. Like I said, I'm going to double down on that peace and serenity objective. Because you can't compete. You can't fight stupid. You'll go down to their level. You'll start spiraling in um, logical fallacies and stupidity. And just observe the facts. So when it all comes crashing down, we could say as a community, and thank you for your support, that we were there along the way observing, ev not every, the big changes and quantifiable numbers and actual data, we were observing the madness. And that's a life well lived. To see your planet go down in flames, what a joy, what a joy. All right, plebe. Hope you enjoyed the little science update. I just kind of brushed over some things there, the energy imbalance. Again, I recommend Mr. Beckwith's videos on that. Rising sea levels faster than expected. And if you Google Ginger Z, the view, or climate change, you can watch this video. It's, it's copyright blocked. It plays within the browser. But you get another don't look up moment if you want to be entertained for a few minutes. And again, I appreciate you doomers. Thanks for tuning in. I'll keep you updated. See you later.